planes need to have a sufficient wingspan to ensure enough lift is generated to take off, but the aircraft in today's video take things to the next level, because these are the top 15 widest planes and aircraft in the world. Number 15. Tupolev ANT-20 Designed by Andrei Tupolev for the Soviet Union in the 1930s, who would go on to develop a number of record-breaking aircraft in the following decades, the ANT-20 was by far the biggest plane in the world until 1941. Known as the Maxim Gorky, in honor of the writer and political activist, it was built to be the flagship of a propaganda squadron, which would fly around the Soviet Union to promote the aims of the Soviet government. With this in mind, the aircraft was usually fitted with a printing machine, a library, a photo laboratory, and a film projector, and an extremely powerful radio transmitter called the Voice from the Sky that could be used to broadcast to the ground. With an eight-person crew, the huge plane was 107 feet long and had an enormous wingspan of over 206 feet. It was able to carry 72 passengers, and it was powered by eight McCoolin V-12 liquid-cooled piston engines. It was able to achieve a top speed of 140 miles per hour. The original ANT-20 was hailed as a masterpiece of engineering by the Soviet leadership at the time, but would soon end in disaster. In 1936, just a year after its first flight, it was taking part in a demonstration flight over Moscow and collided with an accompanying plane. After crashing into a residential building in the aftermath, 45 people were killed and the ANT-20 was completely destroyed, leading to the hasty construction of a second version that took on the role until 1942. Number 14. Airbus A340-600 In an effort to keep up with the strides that were being made by Boeing, Airbus began to develop a new craft in the 1970s that was based on their original jet, the A300. And the result, which was revealed in 1987, was the A340. Designed as a long-range, wide-body passenger airliner, several upgrades and redesigns have been released since then, the largest of which is the A340-600. First entering service in the early 2000s, it was a direct competitor to the Boeing 747 and marketed to airlines that were beginning to replace their aging stock of the jumbo jet. It's able to carry up to 379 passengers across three cabins and, surprisingly, at 254 feet 3 inches, it's even longer than the largest commercial aircraft the company has ever built, the A380. It's powered by four Trent 556 engines, and with an increased cargo capacity to make it even more economical to run, the A340-600 needed a much wider design than its previous versions and had a wingspan of 208 feet. Ultimately, though, despite the impressive specs, the aircraft didn't exactly drive sales like Airbus had hoped, and as things currently stand, only 60 have been delivered to six airlines around the world. Number 13. Boeing Dreamlifter the Boeing 747 undoubtedly changed the world of aviation forever in the way that it made air travel affordable for the masses. But rather than stick with the original design, the company has made a number of different versions over the years. One of the most recent, which first entered service in 2007, is known as the Dreamlifter, and it's a 747 variant created specifically as a cargo aircraft, which the company would be able to use to transport parts for its newly designed 787 Dreamliner between manufacturing bases in Italy, Japan, and the United States. With a fuselage that was widened and heightened to be able to accommodate the Dreamliner's wings, the Dreamlifter had to be supersized and be able to carry far more weight than a 747 would normally have to. Requiring a two-person crew to fly, it's 235 feet long and has a wingspan of 211 feet 5 inches. Its fuselage is one of the widest in the industry, measuring 27 feet 6 inches across, and its four Pratt & Whitney 4062 engines allow it to reach a cruising speed of 545 miles per hour. In total, only four of these have ever been built, and while they mainly serve their intended purpose of transporting parts for other aircraft, they've been known to help in other situations too. In 2020, for example, a Dreamlifter was used to deliver more than half a million face masks to Salt Lake City as part of a drive by the local authorities to keep schools open during the emerging pandemic. Number 12. Antonov AN-22 The Antonov AN-22, which first entered service in the late 1960s, was developed as a heavy military transport aircraft for the Soviet Union by the Ukraine-based Antonov Design Bureau. 
It was designed to significantly improve the military's transport capability, but also to show the rest of the world how far Soviet technology had progressed in a time when international tensions were heightened. And not only was it the first ever wide-body transport aircraft, but it remains to this day the largest turboprop aircraft to have ever been built. With a crew of either five or six, the AN-22 is 190 feet long, but has an even greater wingspan that measures 211 feet 3 inches. It's powered by four Kuznetsov turboprop engines that drive the eight-bladed contra-rotating reversible pitch propellers and gives the aircraft a top speed of 460 miles per hour. Amazingly, it's able to keep this speed even when it's carrying its full load of around 86 tons of cargo over a range of up to 6,800 miles. The AN-22 proved to be so successful that between 1963 and 1975, 68 of these giants were built, 59 of which are still in service. Number 11, Douglas XB-19. After hearing of larger aircraft being developed by other nations around the world and with increasing tensions in Europe that would ultimately lead to the start of the Second World War, the U.S. Army Air Force commissioned a project in 1938 to produce their own gigantic bomber aircraft. After three years of research, the Douglas XB-19 had been built, which immediately took the record as being the largest aircraft ever constructed. The aircraft was only ever seen as an experimental vehicle to test characteristics and design techniques for large bombers, and it was unbelievably big for a plane of the time. Measuring just over 132 feet long, it was designed to carry such heavy loads that it needed an enormous wingspan of 212 feet. With a 16-person flight crew, it had 11 machine guns, two autocannons, and a capacity for up to 20 tons of bombs in its bay. And it was powered by four right duplex Cyclone 18-cylinder engines that drove the three-bladed 17-foot diameter metal propellers. It was even able to reach a maximum speed of 224 miles per hour with a range of 5,200 miles. Despite being completed during the war, the XB-19 was never actually used in combat, and instead, after testing was complete, it was sent to be refitted to be used as a cargo plane. These modifications were never completed, however, and despite the newly formed Air Force planning to preserve it, the only one to be built was eventually scrapped in 1949. Number 10. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy Following the Second World War and with the development of the Cold War, militaries around the world diverted huge resources into creating huge and powerful aircraft to take control of the skies. In collaboration with the United States Air Force, Lockheed began to work on a new generation of military transport aircraft in the late 50s and early 60s and was able to reveal the C-5 Galaxy in 1968. Since then, this enormous plane has been an integral part of the Air Force's capabilities, where it offers strategic intercontinental airlift abilities and can transport oversized loads that simply can't fit on other transports. With a minimum four-person crew, the C-5 Galaxy is 247 feet long and has a wingspan of 222 feet. This width gives the wings an area of 6,200 square feet and allows the Galaxy to generate enough lift to carry up to 140 tons of cargo. It's powered by four GE F-138 turbofan engines. It's able to reach a maximum speed of 532 miles per hour when fully laden. and has a range of up to 2,600 miles. In total, 131 were built between 1968 and 1989. And rather than designing a new aircraft when the C-5 is more than capable of what's needed, investment has instead been put into upgrading the ones that are still in service so they can remain operational until the 2040s. Number nine. Boeing 747-8. Of all the variants of Boeing's flagship aircraft, the 747-8 is by far the largest. Introduced in 2005 as the stretched 747 Advanced, the cargo version entered service in 2011 and the passenger one in 2012. The company began by stretching the fuselage by more than 18 feet compared to a standard 747 and by adding thicker, wider, and deeper wings with raked wingtips. The final version was able to carry significantly more weight or passengers. Requiring a two-person cockpit crew, both iterations of the 747-8 are 250 feet long and have a wingspan that measures 224 feet 7 inches. The width of the cabin is an impressive 20 feet, and the aircraft has a capacity of either 467 passengers or 46 standard-sized air cargo pallets. 
fitted with four General Electric engines, it's actually more fuel efficient than previous versions and can reach a cruising speed of 565 miles per hour with a range of 8,900 miles. In many ways, the 747-8 is seen as the height of what the 747 design is able to accomplish. And now, rather than pushing it any further, Boeing has decided to go back to the drawing board to develop all new aircraft for the future. Number 8. Convair XC-99 Convair was an aircraft design company that worked with the U.S. Army Air Force and later the U.S. Air Force when it became a separated designated branch of the military throughout the 1940s to develop new aircraft suited for life after the Second World War. And one of the largest prototypes built as part of this program was the XC-99. It remains the biggest piston engine land-based transport aircraft to have ever been constructed and the one that was made remained in service for eight years after performing its first flight in 1949 and can now be seen at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. The huge aircraft had double cargo decks and was designed to carry 400 fully equipped soldiers or up to 50 tons of cargo and featured rear-facing props in a pusher configuration. Requiring a five-person crew, it's 182 feet long and has an incredible wingspan that measures 230 feet. With six Pratt & Whitney 28-cylinder radial piston engines to power the three-bladed propellers, the XC-99 had a range of 8,100 miles at a speed of up to 300 miles per hour. Number seven, the Convair B-36. Also developed by Convair in the 1940s, the B-36 was a heavy lift strategic bomber and became a mainstay of the U.S. Air Force fleet between 1949 and 1959 and remains one of the biggest mass-produced piston engine aircraft ever made with 384 coming off production lines and the longest wingspan combat aircraft ever made. It became the first bomber of the U.S. Air Force that was able to release nuclear bombs from its base without serious modifications and provided just what the Air Force needed in the wake of the Second World War until the B-52 Stratofortress was ready to replace it in the mid-1950s. Measuring 162 feet long and with a gigantic wingspan of 230 feet, the B-36 required a 13-member crew to operate. It was powered by six Pratt & Whitney 28-cylinder radial piston engines that each drove one of the three-bladed pusher propellers, and this allowed it to achieve a maximum speed of 435 miles per hour across a range of 3,900 miles, all while carrying up to 43 tons worth of munitions. Number six, Boeing 777X9. After first being tested in 2020, the 777X9 is the latest design of long-range wide-body jetliners from Boeing, and if things go to plan, the company expects the first to enter service by 2024. With seating for up to 426 passengers, it's seen as the replacement for the 747 and features newly designed engines and a new approach to the design of the wings. Featuring a larger cabin than any of the company's previous designs, the 777X9, which requires a two-person crew to operate, is 251 feet long and has a wingspan of 235 feet. This posed a problem for the company because most airports aren't equipped to accommodate an aircraft that's this wide. So to overcome this hurdle, the wings are actually able to fold inwards to reduce the span by around 23 feet when it's on the ground. The plane is powered by two General Electric GE 9X engines and expected to have a range of 8,400 miles with a similar cruising speed to that of a 747 while using significantly less fuel. With an estimated 320 on order from airline companies around the world, the 777X9 could well become one of the most common large capacity aircraft seen in the skies in the latter part of this decade and into the next. Number five, Antonov AN-124. Created by the Antonov Design Bureau in Ukraine in the 1980s, the AN-124 is a heavy transport aircraft that was made to provide strategic airlift capabilities to the Soviet military. It continues to hold the record as being the heaviest production cargo airplane after 55 of them were built and is the largest military transport aircraft in service. It looks similar to the C-5 Galaxy with a double fuselage, but despite being slightly shorter, it has a much wider wingspan that allows it to carry 17% more weight. With an upper and lower section, it has room for 88 passengers as well as up to 170 tons of cargo, and despite its size, it's said to be relatively simple for the pilots to fly. 
Its size has not only meant that it's been used for countless Soviet and Russian military deployments, but an AN-124 is also used to transport elements of the U.S. space program, whereby Atlas V components are carried from Colorado to Cape Canaveral. In its base configuration, the AN-124 is 226 feet long and has a wingspan of 240 feet. It's powered by four Progress turbofan engines, and this gives it a cruising speed of 537 miles per hour and a range of up to 2,300 miles. Number four, the Airbus A380. The Airbus A380 was first revealed by the company in 2005 and entered service for Singapore Airlines two years later. Looking to capitalize on the long-distance commercial market, the wide-bodied plane is the largest passenger aircraft to have ever been put into production, with a capacity of up to 853 passengers. This record it'll likely hold for a long time to come, because in order to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions, future aircraft designs are becoming smaller, more streamlined, and lightweight. Controlled by a two-member flight crew, the A380 is 238 feet long, and is wider than it is long with a wingspan of 261 feet. It's powered by four Trent turbofan engines, which gives it a cruising speed of 561 miles per hour across a maximum range of 9,200 miles. Despite its impressive stats, the A380 project has ultimately turned into a loss maker for Airbus. In total, 254 of them have been delivered to customers, and this hasn't been enough to recoup the initial $25 billion investment in the design. Number 3. Antonov AN-225 Mirya The Antonov Design Bureau specialized in large transport aircraft, and the biggest of all was the AN-225 Mirya. Built in 1985 and entering service in 1988, it can carry the largest payload of any aircraft ever made and became integral to the Soviet space program with its ability to carry spacecraft components. It never entered full production, however, and only one was ever completed. It's still in service to this day, although not in a military capacity as it was originally intended, and is instead used to carry bulky components around the world, such as the huge blades used in wind turbines. Requiring a six-person crew, the AN-225 measures 275 feet long and has the widest wingspan of any regularly operational aircraft in the world at 290 feet. It's powered by six Progress turbofan engines, and this enables it to reach a top speed of 530 miles per hour, with a range of up to 9,600 miles. During its development, a second AN-225 frame was actually partially built, but has been kept in storage for more than 30 years. There are rumors, however, with the increasing need for air cargo capacity, that this one day may be completed, with each one being able to carry a payload weighing up to 272 tons. Number 2. Hughes H-4 Hercules During the Second World War, the Hughes Aircraft Company began development on what was intended to be a transatlantic flight transport, but the final design was only completed after the war had ended, and the project was cancelled after the prototype's maiden flight. Known as the H-4 Hercules, or the Spruce Goose, it was made from wood because of the limited availability of aluminum during the war. And not only is it the largest flying boat to have ever been built, but had the second largest wingspan of any aircraft. With a three-person crew, the H-4 was 218 feet long and had an unbelievable wingspan that measured 320 feet across. It was powered by eight Pratt & Whitney 28-cylinder radial piston engines that drove the four-bladed 17-foot diameter propellers. This gave the H-4 a theoretical cruising speed of 250 miles per hour and a range of up to 3,000 miles. In reality, though, it only ever performed one flight, in which it was airborne for just 26 seconds and reached a speed of 135 miles per hour, meaning it traveled for about a mile before touching down again. Its cargo carrying capacity was therefore never determined, and it was instead consigned to the history books. Number 1. Strato Launch As we move into a new era of spaceflight, where new technologies are being explored to launch vehicles into orbit, one of the more promising ideas is the use of an aircraft to lift a craft to altitude before releasing it. This should significantly reduce the amount of fuel that's required to leave the atmosphere, and as a result means it becomes a much cheaper alternative to traditional rocket launches. 
Announced in 2011 and revealed in 2017, the scaled composite Strato Launch was an aircraft designed solely for this purpose, and being able to generate enough lift to carry the required 250-ton payload to an altitude of 35,000 feet, it has the widest wingspan of any aircraft that's ever successfully taken to the skies. It's made up of a twin fuselage, which provides a stable platform to secure a launch vehicle on top of it. Measuring 238 feet long, its wingspan is an enormous 385 feet. To provide enough thrust, it was fitted with six Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines, and this enables it to reach a maximum speed of 530 miles per hour, over a range of 1,200 miles. Unfortunately, despite two successful flights, the company was unable to make the Strato launch commercially viable, so was sold, and it's now being hired out for high-altitude research experiments. It could well have paved the way for future designs, though, and it's quite possible that aircraft with even wider wingspans will be developed for similar purposes within the next decade. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.